Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you yet another amazing chat GPT SEO workflow. This one is probably going to be something that you've never seen before. So just trust me when I say that this is a good one. What I want you to do is I want you to go on Google and type in platform open AI. What this should do is it should give you a link to platform.openai.com. And this gives us access to what is known as the playground. Now, it says here, looking for ChatGPT, try it now. But you can actually use Chat, uh, sorry, not ChatGPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo inside this uh, playground, okay? This actually gives us the possibility to do a couple of things. But one of the main things it gives us the possibility of doing is creating longer content and also controlling how repetitive ChatGPT is and also controlling about whether they use the same words or whatever it might be. So frequency is whether it uses the same words. Presence penalty is pretty much the same thing, but it just talks about different topics instead of using different words. So what I did the other day was what I created like a company profile, okay? So what I did was I gave, I, I created this, which is what I want, um, GPT 3.5 to use when it's talking. So the first one, it's it's like a prompt, basically. Okay, it's just a prompt. So you are an SEO content writer for Two Men Dot It. Two Men Dot It resells luxury Italian sartorial classic menswear products. Write an article that fits into this niche using the brands and products from the links. The links are just the links that I want it to include. You write using markdown formatting and you use lists, bold, italics, and internal links, uh, internal link Ahrefs using links. Again, here are the links. Every time you mention suits, I want you to mention these brands. Every time you mention pants, talk about these brands, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that into the system, okay? And this could also be called a uh, prompt, okay? And then you're gonna click, click on user and you say, I want you to write an article today, okay? And then a system will say, what is the name of the blog post? And then the message here will be the name of the blog post is best Italian brands. Okay, so we've got everything set up nicely here. I'm gonna show you something absolutely amazing. Let's just see if it works first of all. So I'm gonna press submit and you can see that it's writing blah, 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 but it's not using the markdown formatting that I told it to use. So I'm gonna pause it and instead I'm gonna write at the very top, use markdown formatting for titles and links for example. Best Italian brands. Okay, so I'm gonna write that at the very top. I did do this the other day and it worked perfectly. So I want you to write an article today using markdown formatting. Okay, what is the title? I don't know if this part's actually necessary, so we'll try it again after without this. Uh, the title is Best Italian Luxury Brands. Okay, so let's submit again and hopefully this time, there we go. Okay, perfect. So you can see, hashtag, hashtag, best Italian brands. It's adding links. It's doing everything. And the beautiful part about this is this article is going to be very, very long. Although I forgot to add the maximum length thing. I forgot to add the frequency penalty because I refreshed the page. So we'll just submit this again. And yeah. Normally it would have done that in one shot, but because I messed up basically um, and I forgot to put the maximum length thing back, it's unfortunately given me this little break in the content, but we'll sort that out. So a couple of things that you might want to fine tune this with. Number one is tell it to only use one link once, okay, it's to make sure that you're not using the same link over and over like it has here. And then for some reason it started using different links, even though I gave it all the links to use, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Yeah, look, it's just it's just adding random links. So this it's still not perfect right now, and I guess it's because there's too much information here, and it's it's written too much content, so it's kind of forgotten what it's writing about. However, what I wanted to show you was the next part of this, okay? Again, this is not quite perfect. 
Okay, I think the prompt is too long and the maximum content may maybe is too long as well. But what I wanted to show you was Markdown to HTML tool. And this is the really good part of this, um, this process. As you see, once I put this in here, it just gives me an easily copyable article like this. Now, this isn't quite yet perfect. But I did want to show you this. It is still a playground. It is just still an interesting thing that will definitely be a lot better in the future. A couple of tips. Number one is write this at the very top. Number two, you can find this entire prompt in the description of this YouTube video. So definitely make sure that you check it out. I'm going to add something right now that says um, only use each. Uh, how do I do links once do not make up any links only use the ones i gave you okay so before this video ends i just want to try something real quick so i've shown you how to do this really really nice um output you can see that the links are all there some, some of them aren't working for some reason I'm not really sure why i'm just going to refresh the page and we're gonna try one more thing before the end of this video, which is just to press submit here, because I'm not actually sure what happens. Oh, you don't need to fill in any information. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So yep, this works incredibly well, guys. I highly recommend that you check this out. I forgot to put the maximum length again. That's really annoying, because it was doing it perfectly. So make sure you change the maximum length. I, I like to put the frequency penalty and the uh, the presence penalty up just a little bit. It's not 100% necessary, but definitely feels like it makes a difference and it stops repeating itself over and over. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I, I just want to get a good, complete article out of this thing real quick so that we can see just how effective it is. And look at that. It's no longer using uh, the same links. It's even adding jokes, which is pretty interesting. Uh, these a AMPs are a little bit annoying. We'll have to remove those um, in the editing process. But that looks like it's given me a full article. Yep, it has. Perfect. So yeah, that's probably the fastest way to write content right now. And then literally, like I showed you in the video yesterday, I'm not going to go into this again. All you have to do is just add a couple of other things. It also has a raw HTML thing, which is perfect for me because I actually need raw HTML sometimes. So what I can do here with this raw HTML is I can take it here and I can embed my product on the page. The, re the way that I do this, I use a tool called Hura Collection Embedder. This is only for Shopify. So if you're not on Shopify, I really don't know what to use. But I think this is free. Yeah, it's literally free. Yeah, it's free. And you can, uh, it gives you a little piece of code which you would put here and it would put all of your suits collection embedded onto the blog post, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I really wanted to make this video because it just seemed like a super interesting um, thing and the fact that you can actually create longer content without that annoying process of pressing continue on ChatGPT. So I would actually consider this better than ChatGPT right now because it uses GPT 3.5, but it doesn't have the annoying aspect of having to you know, continue and having problems with formatting and whatever it might be. So yeah, I'll leave a link to markdown to html.com, platform.openai.com, and a link to this, um, google document with my brief okay all you need to do is you need to put your um business information here your important links i would use less links maybe six links per article and just input them here this is basically the prompt make sure you've got maximum length up make sure you've got these two on as well you could even play around with the other stuff that, are, that is available here and then just press submit and then take it to the markdown to html converter and then you can either paste it as raw HTML into WordPress or Shopify or just get the preview. And if you look, if I paste this here, this will be, uh, the links will be here. Okay. So yeah, 
Exciting stuff guys, I definitely prefer this and I'm definitely going to be experimenting with this a little bit more in the coming days. I hope this helps, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.